What's up freaks and geeks? We're back today with some more canned meat products to talk about on the YouTube tubes. I'm out here with the pups uh, up in the woods behind our property looking for some antler sheds. And no day in the woods is complete without a nice little snack. So today I brought out the Spam spread. And we're gonna compare it to the Armour potted meats. Now, they're labeled differently. This is just called a spread, and this one's a potted meat, but they're both potted meats. Basically the same thing. Now, real quick, I know no one's as interested in the nutritional stuff as I am, but I'm gonna read it off anyway. Now, both of these are three ounce cans. The Spam, they suggest there are two servings in the can. The potted meat, they suggest there's one, so it's a little hard to compare apples to apples here, but basically, we're gonna assume we're eating the whole can, because we are. I'm not gonna eat half a can of this, put it in my pocket for later. So, let's see, a whole can of this stuff is 240 calories, whole can of this this stuff is doing the conversion rate, uh, 280 calories, so a little bit more fat in here. Calories from fat in this is 400. Calories from fat in this is gonna be 210. So without a doubt, the Spam has more calories, more fat. Uh, marginally, you know that the saturated fat is what gets me. So let's go over to saturated fat. You're gonna have eight grams in this full can and you're gonna have seven grams in this can. Both of those numbers are high. You don't wanna be eating this stuff every day or you're gonna check out early. That's just, that's all there is to it, especially if you come from a family like I do where there's heart disease. So you just gotta be aware of that stuff. Whole can of this is gonna be 10 grams of protein. Over here, you're gonna have uh, eight grams of protein in the well, oh no, times two though, so 16 grams of protein in the Spam. This implies there's more actual ingredients in the Spam. Uh, and interestingly enough, I know Spam gets a bad name for having all kinds of chemistry in them cans, but not a lot of ingredients. Ingredients, pork, mechanically separated chicken, ham, salt, sugar, water, spices, sodium nitrate. All in all, not that bad. Not a lot of chemistry going on in here. And then over here in the Armour potted uh, meat, you got mechanically separated chicken, pork, water, salt, contains 2% or less of mustard, vinegar, dextrose, sodium, isoborate, don't know what that word is, garlic powder, natural flavor, sodium nitrate. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the Spam, from a nutritional standpoint, is the one that I prefer because it has more protein uh, and less crazy chemistry ingredients, Walter White type stuff, even though the Armour has less uh, to fat. Alrighty, now as the man, the myth, and the legend AVA himself would say, the proof in the pudding is in the eating. We're gonna take that quite literally. Let's crack this bad boy open. First, got some crackers and I brought a spoon somewhere. Always be prepared. Come on now. Right here. These little, uh, you get these from uh, frozen yogurt places. I think they're meant to be disposable, but they're great little hiking camping spoons because they're nice and light and they're plastic. And if you lose it, the wife's not gonna be too mad at you. So, first and foremost, up on the healing bench, we got the Spam. Of course, both of these come with that nice, convenient top. Oh yeah, that smells exactly like cat food. Delicious. You got that look in there. It's, it's definitely homogenized. You don't see any, like some of the chickeny ones, you see like chunks of stuff. No, this is just straight up hammy goodness. Before we even get it on the cracker, it's delicious. It tastes just like Spam, that super salty, uh, kick right at the beginning with the ham flavor behind you. Armour potted meat. Cracker open. Actually, this one looks less appetizing somehow. We'll pick that up. Not really sure how. So we're looking at these guys side by side. You'll see the potted meat is a little more pasty. Uh, made a, maybe a couple more minutes through the blender there. Not really sure, but let's see what the taste on the potted meat. Yeah. It's almost got a gritty flavor. It's kind of weird. Let's try them both on some crackers here. Dogs are smelling the food. They're coming in for the kill. Go on, pups. I don't know about you guys. I just like having some food when I get to a destination. Whether it's hiking or whatever else. So, Okay, so uh, this one by itself, a little off-putting. Let's see what it is on the cracker. Mm-hmm. Super salty. But not bad. Go on, go. For comparison, we're gonna try the Spam now. Go on, Joe. Hey. I think I like the Spam better. The Spam is just as salty, but it just tastes more like a, a recognizable food. And I think that's because there's less 
chemistry in there, right? Like it's, it just tastes like ham spread. Goes great on these crackers. I don't really see how you could argue that there's two servings in this can. Granted, I ate half of that can and half of that can, but now I'm satisfied. If I had to stop after half of one of these cans, like what was the point here, you know? All right, so here's the long and the short of it. I'm doing these reviews because I don't think these potted meats and canned meats and preserved meat spreads get enough attention and they're really very useful uh, if you're camping, hiking, prepping. Uh, I leave some of these in the Jeep in the winter in case, God forbid, I get stranded in a snowstorm. You got something to eat. And if you do a little bit of shopping around, you're bound to find ones you like more than others. Like, I don't love the potted meat as much as the Spam. They're both like 65 cents. Uh, so you do a little bit of shopping, you figure it out. Not all of them are gonna be for everybody, but I guarantee there's one up there that is for you. So, uh, if you got any questions, comments, by all means, let me comment down in the squawk boxes. If you know where I can get those dang Underwood spreads like i've had the chicken i've had the deviled ham i'm trying to get the corned beef the roast beef and the liverwurst but i can't find them in stores and online they want you to buy a case of 20 of them for 50 bucks which i'm not really trying to do so you know where i can find those by all means comment down there in the squawk boxes i'm gonna go hopefully find some antler sheds so we can make some more knives this spring all right uh yeah see you guys tomorrow